हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो एज सेड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू प्ले लिस्ट ऑन बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स आई एम डैम श्योर दैट यू ऑल आर एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इंट्रोडक्शन टू बिग डेटा द फील्ड ऑफ बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स इज वेरी पॉपुलर नाव डेज दिस इज बिकॉज वी कैन सी डेटा एवरीवेयर I would like to explain you the term big data with the simple example of a story that I have made for this. So let's have a look at the story of how big data came into picture. Long back in ancient times for reading books people used to go to a library to search for their desired books and then read it. There was no problem in this process because the population was very less at that time and also the variety of novels and stories were less. hence they had a smooth execution for this but days and years passed and population started increasing with this increasing population the variety of books and written sources were increasing exponentially because many people started writing novels based on their mindset and the thinking process hence it became difficult for people to access the libraries and even if they somehow access it then also the stock of written sources that they needed were not available therefore there was a need to find a solution for this and thereafter the technology came into picture through technology anyone now can access the desired book that they want by staying at their home itself also the time required for searching a particular desired written source is way lesser when we compare it with the latter Big data utilizes the same idea. According to big data, up until this point, we were okay storing the data on our servers because it was relatively little in bulk as well as it took little time to process. But in the modern technological world, the data is expanding far too quickly and people frequently rely on it. Additionally, because of the rate at which the data is expanding, it has become increasingly difficult to store the data on any server hence to handle this to process this and to analyze this huge amount of data the concept of big data came into picture i hope this story was good enough and i am sure that it had helped you to know the concept of what big data is now this was for explaining you or to make you understand what big data can be with the help of an example now let's have a look at what exactly it is what you need to write when this question comes in your exam so first you need to write that it is a collection of data that is large in volume obviously the data is generated every day hence it grows exponentially with time it becomes difficult for us to store it and manage it hence the traditional methods which were used to store manage and handle data were proven to be inefficient because at that time the data was less as i have given the example of the library books at that time since population was less and also the novels and the write ups that they created was also less so there was no need of managing it efficiently but nowadays there is a need of managing and handling this particular huge amount of data hence big data came into picture now let's have a look at the real life examples of how this particular big data is generated the most common and very popular example is social media i u v us everyone use social media nowadays it has become an integral part of our lives have you ever imagined how much data facebook generates you can see that it generates 4 petabytes of data per day which is around million gigabytes mathematically 1 petabyte equals 10 to the power 15 bytes so you can just imagine that around 65000 photos are shared on instagram every minute and you can see in a particular day how much amount of photos would have been generated this image data is generated every day and it has to be stored in a structured format twitter generates 200 billion tweets per year each tweet can contain textual data or it can be image video or audio data 
so you can see how much amount of big data is generated from social media only so this is one of the real life example next we have emails for every official work right from sending a letter to the principal to receiving offer letter from the company everything is done with the help of emails around 300 billion email are sent every day just imagine 300 billion emails each email contain different attachments attachments can be of different types it can be text images videos audios each of which contains different extensions also next is the transactions that we do in the banking sector you can see that transactions are always confidential and also they are very much important a single mistake in the transaction record can create a lot of chaos you can see that more than 100k transactions are done per second just imagine that in one minute in one day how much transactions are done each has to be stored and managed efficiently fourth is e-commerce electronic commerce which is nowadays becoming very much popular as it is becoming an integral part of our lives you can see that amazon flipkart mintra and all other e-commerce websites generates large amount of data per day from which the users buying trends can be traced the users activity on a particular product if a particular product is searched by a user then a recommendation advertisement will be done on other sites have you observed that i'm sure you might have so this particular thing is done with the help of big data data is stored analyzed and processed so that this kind of recommendations and reports can be generated so that it can benefit the organization so e-commerce is one of the biggest source from which big data is generated now i would like to ask you one question do you think that the traditional storage methods and the handling processes would have been sufficient for this kind of enormous data pause the video and comment your answer i'm sure that your answer will be a big no therefore the concept of big data came into picture this concept of big data will obviously help to improve the operations for example handling managing or pre-processing the unstructured data to the structured ones it also provides better customer service the customer service on an e-commerce website can be improved to a greater extent with the help of big data big data creates personalized marketing campaigns and also take other actions regarding that big data can be used in the insurance sector as well ultimately it will increase the revenue and profits for the organization as well as it will benefit the customer and all its users i hope that you have understood this concept in the upcoming videos we will dive deep into big data concepts if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and follow me on instagram thank you